Did you know the average person spends four years of his life looking down at his cell phone? Kind of ironic, ain't it? How these touch screens can make us lose touch. But it's no wonder in a world filled with IMAX, iPads, and iPhones, so many eyes, so many selfies, not enough us's and we's. See, technology has made us more selfish and separate than ever. Because while it claims to connect us, connection has gotten no better. And let me express first, Mr. Zuckerberg, not to be rude, but you should reclassify Facebook to what it is, an anti-social network. Because while we may have big friend lists, so many of us are friendless all alone. Because friendships are more broken than the screens on our very phones. We sit at home on our computers, measuring self-worth by numbers of followers and likes. Ignoring those who actually love us, it seems we'd rather write an angry post and talk to someone who might actually hug us. Am I bugging? You tell me, because I asked a friend the other day, let's meet up face to face. They said, all right, what time you want to Skype? I responded with OMG, SRS, and then a bunch of SMHs and realized, what about me? Do I not have the patience to have conversation without abbreviation? This is the generation of media overstimulation. Chats have been reduced to snaps. The news is 140 characters. Videos are six seconds at high speed. And you wonder why ADD is on the rise faster than 4G LTE. But Get a load of this. Studies show the attention span of the average adult today is one second lower than that of a goldfish. So if you're one of the few people or aquatic animals that have yet to click off or close this video, congratulations. Let me finish by saying you do have a choice, yes. But this one, my friends, we cannot autocorrect. We must do it ourselves. Take control or be controlled, make a decision, me. No longer do I want to spoil a precious moment by recording it with a phone. I'm just going to keep them. I don't want to take a picture of all my meals anymore. I'm just going to eat them. I don't want the new app, the new software, or the new update. And if I want to post an old photo, who says I have to wait until Thursday? I'm so tired of performing in the pageantry of vanity and conforming to this accepted form of digital insanity. Call me crazy, but... I imagine a world where we smile when we have low batteries Cause that'll mean we'll be one bar closer To humanity Dr. Alyssa Appel, a professor in the Department of Psychiatry at University of California, explains stressful behaviors shorten telomeres, which are the end caps of chromosomes in our brain. And when these end caps are shortened, it promotes brain cell aging. She specifically points out that the stressful behaviors include anything that takes you out of the now. Things like dwelling on the past. Worrying about the future. Multitasking on your phone or computer while trying to do something else. Are you checking Snapchat, Instagram, or Facebook because you actually need to? Look around you. Reach out. Connect with others around you. Be kind to someone because you can. Learn something about other people. You might learn something about yourself. Learn to be in the present moment. More often is hard work. When has anything good in your life ever come to you easily? How do I get into the present moment? If someone covered up my mouth and nose and didn't let go, what would happen? I'd die because my breath is always here in the present moment. If you ever need to get immediately into the present moment, focus on your breath. Focus breathing in and breathing out. Your breath is always in the present moment. When you are working and trying to be in the present moment, you can't be half of the here and now, while the other half of you is thinking about the next text. The next post or Snapchat. Or what am I planning on doing after school? When you are here, really here, you're a better listener. A better friend. A better brother, sister, or cousin. You're a better person. Research has proven that when you're in the present moment, your brain has more neurological connections, which help you think clearly, creatively, and thoughtfully. The truth is, we will all be gone 100 years from now, and none of us know when our time here is up. So, ask yourself, 
How are you spending your moments? Are you spending them stuck in your head worrying about what happened yesterday or what might happen tomorrow? Are you spending your moments glued to your phone or computer? Or are you spending your moments in the here and now with the people and earth that are in front of you? Look at the time. What time is it exactly? When the time clicks to the next minute, this moment is gone forever. How did you spend that moment? You only live once, so be here, be kind. I pledge. 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 To be here, to be kind.